गगन गगन झुकाए जा रख हौसला कर फैसला तुझे वक्त बदलना है सरना तो बंद रुकना तो बंद राह पे चल बंद राम राम so guys today we are going to solve a very interesting microsoft oe problem which was asked in january 2023 okay let's open the link let's see what the question is asking us okay so if we scroll below we can see what the question is asking us question is asking a uh, question is about the non overlapping intervals and why are we solving this problem because uh, in may two of my students cracked the full time offers at microsoft rashi bhave and ritik raj so for the celebration purpose we are solving the hard problem which came in the microsoft oe so the question is like this three new healthcare buildings are to be built in land they will be built on lands with plots numbered consecutively from 1 there are two integer arrays starting ending each of size n that represent the n, n intervals where the ith interval is starting of i till ending of i determine the number of ways three non overlapping intervals can be selected from the n intervals so guys always remember first no, we will not direct discuss the question and the solution first we will discuss the understanding then i will do observation with all of you people then we will read some analysis then we will do the conclusion once all of that is done we will discuss the code and solution okay guys so first uh, let's clear up the understanding what is the understanding so our problem is saying yes ailia so guys what is the problem telling us problem is telling us that uh, you are given n intervals okay you are given n intervals you are given n intervals like this okay yeah what are those n intervals it looks like this guys some interval starts at 1 ends at 3 some interval starts at 2 ends at 8 some interval starts at uh, say 5 ends at 10 okay we are given uh, many intervals like this okay and say some interval starts at 12 ends at uh, 13 so the question is asking that you are given n intervals okay you are given n intervals you are given the starting point you are given the end point of each interval tell me how many ways are there such that you can pick three intervals which are not touching each other so guys understanding of the question should be clear you are telling us you are given n intervals you are given n intervals find the number of ways number of ways to pick three intervals such that they are not touching each other such that they are not touching each other not touching each other guys that's it that's it okay the job is done they are telling you that we give you n intervals find the number of way to pick three intervals such that they are not touching each other so guys in our case uh, let's say the n intervals look like this okay they look like this what will be the output i want uh, my students to answer here in the chat what will be the output for this guys output okay yeah what what were our intervals for this case let's focus what were our intervals for this particular case uh, we will try to get it done very very quickly guys so our interval is 1 to 3 2 to 8 5 to 10 12 to 13 so let me write 1 2 3 okay one interval is uh, 1 to 3 okay it looks like this another interval given to us is 2 to 8 2 to 8 another interval given to us is 5 to 10 then 12 to 13 5 to 10 and 12 to 13 5 to 10 and 12 to 13 5 to 10 and 12 to 13 okay so 5 to 10 and 12 to 13 guys i will talk to you each one of you personally don't worry i am always there on whatsapp you guys know my whatsapp number na whenever you have any issue re regarding jobs or what to do in your life you can always ask me okay don't worry guys but for now we are discussing coding question na so i don't want to get disturbed okay so guys these are the intervals given to you can you can anyone tell can, can anyone tell me in the chat okay i will give him some prize okay can you guys tell me which are those three intervals which are not not intersecting in our this in our this question can anyone tell me which are those three intervals which are not intersecting let's say who can tell me guys write the name of those three intervals which are not intersecting obviously it is 1 3 this is not touching this 5 10 and 12 13 see all these three are not touching each other so the output is one there is one way output is what one there is one way to pick three intervals 
such that none of them touch none of them touch that way is that way is which is that way guys you pick 1 comma 3 then you pick uh you pick 1 comma 3 guys then you pick 5 comma 10 then you pick uh 12 comma 13 guys so see this is the one way for this particular test case there is one way okay you pick uh, 1 comma 3 5 comma 10 and 12 comma 13 they are not touching each other dekho 3 5 ko touch nahi ho raha hai 10 12 ko touch nahi ho raha we got the answer answer is 1 for this particular test case so guys uh, is one clear to most of the people 5 6 people radius na so we can go ahead only 5 6 people radius yeah yeah yes we can use many things here sir naman yeah okay okay so job is done right everything is going good right right everyone is enjoying good so everyone understood the basic test case okay so guys uh let's see microsoft wala test case bhi discuss kar lete right what was microsoft saying microsoft is saying you have this interval 1 2 3 then you have the interval 2 2 4 see green color green color then you have the interval 3 2 5 then you have the interval 4 to 6 then you have the interval then then you have the interval 7 to 8 guys okay so guys in this test case can you tell me which are those three intervals which are uh, not uh, which are not uh, intersecting with each other guys can anyone tell me in the chat uh, guys can anyone tell me in the chat which are those uh, three intervals which are not intersecting that is the question microsoft is asking us you can easily pick 1 comma 3 then 4 comma 6 then 7 comma 8 See one comma three not intersecting with four comma six and four to six is not intersecting with seven comma eight. Simple. Yes, Chetanya is the best student. Tanvir even better. Yogesh even better. Guys, Yogesh, Tanvir, Akshat, Nikita, and Chetanya. These are the best people here. Okay, they are so quickly answering. What about other people? Don't you want to grow? My question is, ये जो आपको दे रखा है इसमें बताओ कौन सी तीन इंटरवल हैं जो एक दूसरे से इंटरसेक्ट नहीं कर रही? नहीं बताओगे तो फिर Microsoft का forty five LPA नहीं मिलेगा. So think and tell me. only 5 6 people wrote what about others even a fifth standard kid can tell you see and tell you that which are the three intervals which are not intersecting with each other one is 1 to 3 another is 4 to 6 and then it is 7 to 8 ah no worry sir yeah ritesh also answered good 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 so this much is clear so guys there was only one way to do this so the answer is one okay now guys i want to discuss the last test case and then we will go ahead okay last test case i want to discuss the last test case is uh, say we are given interval this 1 to 5 okay then we are given say 10 to 15 then we are given 20 to 21 then we are given 25 to 28 okay 25 to 28 this is interval number 1 this is interval number 2 this is interval number 3 and this is interval number 4 Guys, can everyone in the tell chat tell me which are those three intervals which are not intersecting? I can quickly tell them. The first interval which is not intersecting it is one, two, three, one comma two comma three. These three guys are not intersecting with each other. The first interval not intersecting with the second, second not intersecting with the third. Also, one, two, three is done. Now one, two, four is also not intersecting. So one, two, four is also a correct answer. One, two, four is also not intersecting. Good, great, nice. We like it. Next, 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 next. One, two, three is not intersecting. One, two, four is not intersecting. Now what to do? One more is left, guys. Can anyone tell me in the chat? ये दोनों तो मैंने बता दिए. One, two, three is a correct triplet, not intersecting. One, two, four is also correct triplet. One, one triplet we are missing. Whoever tells me will get fifty rupees GP after the session ends. Let's see who said the answer first in the chat. Two, three, four. Who will get this? Who will get this money? Yash, no. Uh, Yash Prakash Sharma is going to get the prize amount. Make sure to message me on WhatsApp after the session is done. Two, three, four, guys. How can you ignore two, three, four? Yeah, yeah. Two, three, four was left, right? So the answer is two, three, four. That's it, and the job is done. Nice. So, guys, for this test case, the answer was two, uh, one, one way, two way, and three way. So total three, three is the answer for this question. Okay, done. Yeah. So, guys, uh, I hope the understanding is done. Okay. Understanding is clear. I am writing it here. Okay, understanding is clear. Understanding is clear. Guys, I want a little bit support. Uh, can at least five, ten people? One, three, four, be here, na? One second. One, three, four. 
यस गाइस यशिका के लिए कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन ओके 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 गाइस आई एम इनेबलिंग यू नो इमोजीज एवरी वन गिव कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन यशिका शी सेड अस व्हाट वी डिड नॉट नो सबने मिस कर दिया था कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन यशिका कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन वी फॉगॉट गाइज वन थ्री एंड फोर ओके सो यशिका कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन फॉर दैट कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन नो वन सॉ दैट वन थ्री फोर वॉज मिसिंग गाइज ओके सो नाउ एक्चुअली हाँ वही तो वो सारे ही है तो गाइज यू मिस दिस वन ओके वन थ्री फोर इज ऑल्सो नॉन इंटरसेक्टिंग राइट सो वन थ्री फोर इज ऑल्सो नॉन इंटरसेक्टिंग सो हाउ मेनी आर नॉन इंटरसेक्टिंग वन टू थ्री फोर सो आंसर इज फोर नॉट थ्री ओके देर आर फोर वेज सच दैट दे आर नॉन इंटरसेक्टिंग ओके सो दिस मच कॉन्सेप्ट आर क्लियर टू एवरी वन नाउ एवरी वन अंडरस्टैंड वॉट वॉज द क्वेश्चन सेइंग क्वेश्चन इज सेइंग दैट वी आर गिविंग यू एन इंटरवल्स फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ ट्रिपलेट्स such that find the number of ways to pick three intervals such that they are not intersecting and not touching each other okay so guys if the understanding uh congratulations yashika guys uh 5 to 10 people right yes in the chat so i can go ahead guys understanding is clear to everyone now let's go towards the analysis guys understanding clear sab log likho yeah, thank you potula rahul for the yeah comment thank you Guys, uh, five more people, right? Yes, so I can go ahead, guys. Guys, quick, 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 quick. Chalo, sabko samajh aake. Let's go forward now. So yeah, understanding is clear. Now, let's come below. So observation, guys. Observation. So now let's think what happens. Okay, let's try to fix. Let's try to fix the middle interval. Okay. Now the answer is simple, guys. Let's try to fix the middle interval. That's it. Okay. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. so they are giving you an intervals like this right they are giving you interval number 1 then interval number 2 then interval number 3 and then interval number 4 and they can be at any place interval number 5 can be here interval number 6 can be here right so what i am saying let's iterate through all the intervals okay let's say you are at interval number i okay you are at interval number i okay and this is the start point okay start this is the start point and this is the end point okay guys just imagine you are at interval number i this is the start point this is the end point nice we like it enjoying yeah so this is the start point this is the end point this is the start point this is the end point can you guys tell me Which intervals in the left will be non-intersecting with the interval I? Okay, this is the biggest observation. Let's say you are at an interval I. Okay, you are an you are at an interval I, which is having this start and end point. Okay. Now tell me, now tell me, which will be which will be those intervals on the left side which won't touch us which won't touch touch or intersect with us guys can anyone use your brain and tell me question main kya pooch raha hu ekdam simple cheez pooch raha hu main bol raha hu ki ye meri interval hai ye start hai ye mere interval ka end hai ye hai interval number i to wo kaun si intervals hai जो अपन को छुएंगी नहीं और अपने लेफ्ट साइड में आ रही है ठीक है ना चलो थोड़ा लेफ्ट साइड का थोड़ा अच्छे से डायग्राम बना लेते हैं ये मेरी इंटरवल आई है ठीक है समझो कोई नंबर की इंटरवल है आई ठीक है ओके इन जनरल दिस इज इंटरवल आई दिस इज द स्टार्ट पॉइंट एंड दिस इज द एंड पॉइंट सो विच आर दो इंटरवल ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड विच विल नॉट टच अस ये पूरा लेफ्ट में कुछ होगा ना यहाँ पर भी थोड़े बहुत इंटरवल्स यहाँ पर ऐसे बहुत सारे इंटरवल्स होंगे एक ये एक ये और फिर से एक एक समझो यहाँ पर है पर है सो विच आर दोज इंटरवल गाइज इन सबके एंड पॉइंट होंगे राइट इसका एंड पॉइंट लेट से इट्स ई वन इसका एंड पॉइंट लेट से इट्स ई टू इसका एंड पॉइंट लेट से ई थ्री सो माई कंक्लूजन इज ऑल द इंटरवल्स हुज एंड पॉइंट हुज एंड पॉइंट इज लेस देन स्टार्ट हुज एंड पॉइंट इज लेस देन स्टार्ट विल बी ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एंड नॉट टचिंग एस गाइज कॉमन सेंस है कॉमन सेंस है सपोज से माई इंटरवल आई दिस इज माई इंटरवल आई दिस इज माई स्टार्ट दिस इज माई एंड ओके लेट से माई स्टार्ट इज फाइव माई एंड इज एट ओके सो माई क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग 
which are those guys on the left hand side which will not touch you my answer is all the guys whose end pointer is less than 5 will never touch me okay let's say it is 3 to 4 it is 1 to 2 it is uh, 1 to 1 it is say uh, 1 to 10 okay now guys now someone smart in the room comes and tells you ki hello rahul hello yashika you are given this uh, interval i the start point of the interval is 5 end point of the interval is 8 yashika and all others can you tell me which will be those intervals on the left hand side which will not touch this interval of 5 to 8 answer is all the intervals whose end point is less than 5 will never touch you. So this will never touch you because 4 is less than 5. This will also never touch you because 2 is less than 5. This will also never touch you because 1 is less than 5. So there are 3 intervals which will never touch you on the left hand side. They will never touch you. But this will touch you. 1 to 10 hai na? Ye 5 se 8 tha to 1 kahi yaha par chalu hua hoga aur ye 10 hai. To dekho touch ho gaya, intersect ho gaya, not allowed. Okay. So guys, uh, the definition should be clear to everyone. The definition should be clear to everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Most of the people are writing nicely. I uh, love you people, smart people, smart people in my uh, session. So now the thing is, guys, can anyone uh, nicely write in the chat? Uh, like can every, anyone nicely write in the statement? Which will be those intervals on the left hand side which do not touch our start and uh, which do not touch us? If I am considering an interval I, the start pointer is start, end pointer is end. Which will be those intervals on the left hand side which won't touch you? The answer is simple. Answer. All the intervals whose end point is less than start will never touch interval i. Our interval is from start to end, right? So guys, always remember, all the intervals whose end point is less than start will never touch the interval i, okay? Will never touch the interval i on the left hand side, on the left hand side, okay? So, ye bhoti bhoti common cheez thi, mein bas yehi keh raha tha. Chalo, thoda hindi mein bhi bol deta hoon. Mein yeh keh raha tha ki samjho tumhari interval hai 5 se leke 8 tak, thik hai? ये तुम्हारी इंटरवल है इसको तुम कहते हो स्टार्ट पॉइंटर इसको तुम कहते हो एंड पॉइंटर मैं बोल रहा हूं कि लेफ्ट में बताओ ऐसे कितने इंटरवल्स हैं जो इनको टच नहीं करेंगे इनको टच नहीं करेंगे तो मेरे कहने का मतलब यह है कि लेफ्ट में सिर्फ वही इंटरवल्स जिनका एंड पॉइंटर 5 से कम आ रहा है ना वही इसको टच नहीं करेगा अरे कॉमन सेंस है अगर if your current interval is like this 5 to 8 and from left there is an interval from 1 to 6 so this is touching this is wrong we don't want the touch this should not be 6 this number should be less than 5 at least 4 so when a guy on the left hand side is having the end number less than 5 less than the start pointer of your current interval only then it is valid only then it will not touch you that's what i was trying to explain here let's say you are at an interval i start end now tell me which will be those intervals on the left side which won't touch or intersect with us okay so all the intervals whose end point is less than start will never touch our interval okay we need to maintain their count we need to maintain their count we need to maintain their count hmm. okay yeah good yeah yogesh congratulations thank you shivansh thank you everyone understood see smart people here the intervals on the left whose end points are smaller than start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, everyone understood. Okay. Guys, can five people write yes? So we can go ahead now. Yeah. Five people write yes, guys. If this much is clear to everyone. Yeah, and guys, this document is also with me, na? Please use this document, okay? I'm sending this document for one more time in the chat, guys. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, this uh, BX Globe, you can read the document to understand clearly what was happening till now. Okay? Guys, if someone comes in the meeting and asks what is the question or explain again they're uh, coming in the middle right so you guys can give them this document okay anyways yeah so this is clear guys now my question is right hand side cup uh, tell me which are those intervals which are those intervals on the right hand side which will not touch our interval i 
which is starting at start pointer, ending at end pointer. Guys, please use your brain. Now use your brain, guys. Thinking skills we have to improve improve for OA. See, these type of questions, no LinkedIn influencer, no YouTube influencers will teach you because these, first of all, these require thinking skill to solve and the ko samjhana dus guna jada hard hota hai because this is not some popular question which is already explained thousand number of times, okay? So, guys, but when you do these type of questions, your thinking skills really increase and they help you to solve new questions when they come in OA and interview. So guys, let's say your start pointer is this, your end pointer is this. Now the question is, which are the intervals in the right, which will never touch this? Which are those intervals? Say the start is 5, end is 8. Okay, tell me which are those intervals on the right, which will never touch 5, 8. Common sense, common sense. Okay, I'm giving some example. Let's see people tell me properly or not. There is one interval from 10 to 12. Another is 15 to 8, 15 to 80. And another is 6 to 100. Guys, can anyone tell me in this case, our current interval is from 5 to 8. Which are the intervals in the right hand side which will not touch 5 to 8? Can anyone tell me the number of those intervals which will not touch 5 to 8? Uh, tell in the chat, guys. Tell in the chat. Yes, correct ages. They are correct ages. Yeah. Guys, tell me in the chat, guys. Yes, BX Globe, congratulations. See, I am now giving emojis for you. First time he said the correct answer. Yes, yes. They should not touch, guys should not touch starting point should be greater than 8 okay dekho tumhara current interval kya tha 5 pe chalu ho raha hai 8 pe khatam ho raha hai to isko sirf wahi log right mein touch nahi karenge jinka jo start hai wo 8 se bada aa raha hai samjhe so 10 se 12 to 5 se 8 wale ko touch nahi karega na hi 15 se 80 wala touch karega ye 6 se 100 wala touch kar dega kyu because 6 is coming less than 8 we only want the guys whose start pointer is greater than 8, whose start pointer is greater than the end pointer of interval i, whose start pointer, all the intervals, all the intervals, whose start pointer is uh, greater than, all the intervals whose start pointer is greater than end pointer of interval i. Okay guys, interval I, interval ka ye hai, start comment. So guys, all the intervals on the right hand side. All the intervals, all the intervals guys, see visually, visually try to understand. You are given 5, you just given 8 here. Only the intervals on the right hand sides whose start pointer is greater than 8. Only they will not touch you. Rest all will touch you whose start pointer is equal to 8 or less than 8. So... All the intervals whose uh, start pointer is greater than the end pointer of interval i, they will not touch us. So now we know how many intervals on the left are not touching us. Uh, would we consider 8, comma 10 as a non-touching point? No, 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 no. Na, na, potula, potula round. Starting point who are greater than the ending point. Okay, guys. So I am very lucky that uh, 40 people are still in this meeting and listening to me. Thank you. Even though the question is so hard. So guys, uh, five people write yes in the chat. If all of you now understood uh, what is, which are the intervals which are will not touch in the left hand side and which are the intervals which will not touch in the right hand side. Five people write yes, then let's go to the main solution now. Okay guys, let's go to the main solution now. The main solution is pretty simple. Okay. So you are at an interval I, right? Okay guys. Start pointer, end pointer. Now you know how many intervals in the left which will not touch you. Let's say the number of such intervals is K1. Okay. These all these guys will never touch you. And say there are K2 guys on the right which will never touch you. Okay. This is our interval I. This is the start pointer. This is the end pointer. There are K1 guys which will never touch you on the left. There are K2 guys, which will never touch you on the right. So how many triplets will be there? There will be K1 into K2 triplets. There will be K1 into K2 triplets. Again, explaining in a simpler manner. Okay, let's say your current interval is 5 to 8. Okay, okay. On left, there are these two intervals which are not touching. 1 to 4 and 1 to 3. On the right, there are these two intervals which are not touching. 80 to 100. And 85 to 850. Okay. Both of these are not touching 58, and both of these on the left are not touching 58, and both of these on the right are not touching 58. So, how many triplets will be there? Two are here. Two are here. You will multiply 2 into 2, 4. 
this thing was taught to you by your first and fifth standard teacher you multiply the number of ways so how will these ways be four i will explain way number one will be what that you take five to eight here and in the left hand side you take one to four and the right hand side you take eighty hundred you take uh, one to four here and here you take eighty two hundred so guys this is way number one w one which will be the second way guys the second way will be you take uh, one comma three here which is not intersecting and eighty comma hundred again here this is the second way which will be the third way guys you take five eight here you take one comma four here देखो यू ट्राइड वन कॉमा फोर विद एटी कॉमा हंड्रेड नाउ यू ट्राई वन कॉमा फोर विद एटी फाइव कॉमा एट फिफ्टी सो टू वेज विल कम फ्रॉम हियर एंड वन कॉमा थ्री ऑल्सो यू ट्राई विद एटी कॉमा हंड्रेड वन कॉमा थ्री यू ट्राई विद एटी फाइव कॉमा एट फिफ्टी सो टू फ्रॉम हियर सो टोटल टू टू कितना फोर इसलिए बोल रहा हूँ द लेफ्ट वेज एंड राइट वेज मल्टीप्लाई दो एट आर द टोटल नंबर ऑफ ट्रिपलेट अवेलेबल फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर इंटरवल आय सो फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर इंटरवल आय नंबर ऑफ के वन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय नंबर ऑफ के टू सत्या मल्टीप्लाई प्लीज तनवीर गाइस 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 डू यू अगेन वांट टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई आर वी मल्टीप्लाइंग राइट यस और इफ यू नो देन राइट नो अगर मल्टीप्लिकेशन क्लियर है तो राइट नो एंड मल्टीप्लिकेशन इज नॉट क्लियर या सो चलो एक बार और समझा देता हूं ठीक है सब लोग नो ही लिख रहे हैं मतलब सबको समझ आ गया बट फिर भी बात क्या हो रही है ध्यान से समझो बात ये हो रही है कि यू जस्ट वांट टू नो फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर इंटरवल आई कितने हैं जो लेफ्ट में हैं तुमसे टच नहीं कर रहे देखो अब मैं तुम लोग को क्या है ऐसे तो समझ आने वाला है नहीं ठीक है मतलब कोई कोई लोगों को तो उनको थोड़ा मजा दिलाना पड़ेगा ठीक है सो गाइस नाउ यू आर दिस पर्सन इन योर लाइफ ओके यू आर राहुल ओके यू आर राहुल ओके यू आर राहुल your start pointer is 5 and your end pointer is 8 now there are some girls in your past which did not like you okay there are some girls in your past which did not like you they are this 1 2 4 4 and 1 2 3 guys these girls did not like you okay now there are also some girls in the future of rahul which are not liking him okay uh, let's say 10 to 20 and 50 to 100 okay Now all these girls decide कि राहुल की एकदम भारी तरीके से पिटाई होनी चाहिए सो हाउ मेनी वेज आर देर दिस गर्ल्स कैन मेक द पेयर एंड बीट राहुल यू कैन इधर सिलेक्ट दिस गर्ल एंड दिस गर्ल वन वे यू कैन इधर सिलेक्ट दिस गर्ल और दिस गर्ल टू वेज यू कैन इधर सिलेक्ट दिस गर्ल और दिस गर्ल थ्री वेज यू कैन इधर सिलेक्ट दिस गर्ल दिस गर्ल फोर वेज सो ऑन द लेफ्ट देर वर टू गर्ल्स हु डिड नॉट लाइक राहुल on the right there are two girls who did not like rahul so there will be total 2 into 2 four four ways that these girls can team up and beat rahul for example if in the yeah i hope you guys like the example if if uh, in the left there were three intervals which were not intersecting with you and on the right there were five intervals which were not intersecting with you okay with the interval i so for this interval i as the middle guy how many triplets will be possible 3 into 5 3 into 5 because it is a y1 y2 y3 on the left and it is z1 z2 z3 z4 z5 so the middle guy i will remain constant but you can choose y1 z1 y1 for y1 there are five choices here for y2 there are five choices for y3 there are five choices so 5 plus 5 plus 5 15 that's why i'm saying do 3 into 5 ab isse zyada basic samjhane ki koi zarurat nahi hai ho guys understood finally with the good example guys understood guys why we multiplying the left guy and right guy thank you chaitanya thank you guys thank you okay guys now yeah globe you can write your doubt also okay now now guys now i am writing the final conclusion guys sab log mere sath conclusion likhenge analysis done above only guys sab sab log mere sath conclusion likhenge for each interval i all you need to know is all you need to know is number of left intervals which do not touch it and the number of right intervals 
which you do not touch it okay once you know them both once you know them both once you know them both answer is guys answer is what left into right where left is nothing but the number of left intervals which are not intersecting with your interval i and the num- right is number of right intervals which are not intersecting with your interval i once so the solution is what you will run a for loop you will check for each interval na i equal to 1 i less than equal to n i plus plus for each interval what will be your answer guys answer will be answer plus left into right how to calculate left into right you know that for now okay left left is what we will discuss that later left is what number of intervals not intersecting with the interval i okay with the interval i and right is what a uh, number of intervals number of intervals not intersecting with interval i on right on right side and that was on left side okay so guys just do this for each interval na and your job will be done on left side okay so all you need to do is for each interval i guys first calculate left the number of intervals which are not intersecting with our current interval on left side and right number of intervals which not intersecting with the current interval on the right side answer will be answer plus uh, left into right and uh, finally you print the answer your job is done okay guys this much algorithm i hope most of the people understood yeah i have not discussed how to calculate left right we'll discuss that later on but is uh, yes yes correct 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 is this for each interval i you need to know how is the number of which do not touch it sahil such a great person nice 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 guys uh, please uh, five people right yes in the chat if this algorithm is clear to everyone all we have to do is for each interval find the left find the right answer will be answer plus left into right five people right yes so we can go towards how to do that how to find that left and right what if this will always guarantee unique ways guy uh, rahul why this will always uh, guarantee unique ways because e- for each interval i you were considering it as the middle interval it will never be again considered at the as a middle interval theek hai theek hai na सी जब तुम फॉर लूप चला रहे हो वन से लेके एन तक तो इसमें क्या अज्यूम किया जा रहा है कि ये जो आई इंटरवल है ये मिडल इंटरवल है कौन सी इंटरवल है ये मिडल इंटरवल ये फिक्स हो चुकी है अब ये फिर से कभी मिडल मिडल इंटरवल नहीं आने वाली है तुमने आई को एक बार मिडल कंसीडर कर लिया डन अब नेक्स्ट टाइम तुम आई प्लस को मिडल कंसिडर करके सोल्व कर रहे हो फिर नेक्स्ट टाइम तुम आई प्लस वाले को मिडल कंसिडर करके सोल्व कर रहे हो अब जब हर बार अलग अलग मिडल कंसिडर किए हैं तो सारे आंसर यूनिक हो जाएंगे clear rahul the trick yeah 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 thank you guys thank you now guys dekho ab gin liya ab mujhe batao ab please use your common sense aur sab mujhe batao ki ek jhatke mein left ko kaise calculate kar sakte hai kaise ek jhatke mein bata sakte hai ki kitne number hai jo apan se chote hai so its algorithm is very simple guys you only need to do binary search okay How to calculate left is what? Left it left is what? यहाँ पर clearly लिखा था what is left? What is left guys? All the intervals whose end point is less than start, whose end point is less than start. So what do you have to find? Number of intervals whose end point is less than y. Okay, end point is less than y. You can do this using binary search. You can do this using binary search. Simple job is done. Don't have to do much. They are telling you that, boy, tell me the number of intervals whose end point is less than y. So, हम क्या करेंगे? We will make an end array which will store the end point of all the intervals. Guys, I will make an end array. Okay, this end array will store the end point of all the intervals. Okay, and I will keep it in a sorted format. Okay. So e1 is the end point of first interval. E2 is the end point of second interval. E3, E4, E5, E6, E7, E8, E9, E10. So guys, this is sorted. Okay, sorted. Sorted means in ascending order. These are the numbers. Now the guy is telling you for calculating left, you need to know the number of e 
विच आर लेस देन वाई वाई इज सम पॉइंटर ओके ना वाई इज सम पॉइंटर वेन यू आई एम कंसिडरिंग द इंटरवल वेन आई एम कंसिडरिंग द इंटरवल आई फ्रॉम स्टार्ट टू एंड तो मेरे को क्या चाहिए लेफ्ट में द नंबर ऑफ इंटरवल्स हुज एंड पॉइंट इज लेस देन स्टार्ट मैं कह रहा हूँ कि स्टार्ट को वाई एज्यूम कर लो सो बेसिकली आई वॉन्ट द नंबर ऑफ एंड पॉइंट लेस देन वाई सो आई कैन इजिली डू बाई द रिसर्च एंड नो हाउ मेनी आर लेस देन वाई एक झटके में पता चल जाएगा सब असेंडिंग ऑर्डर में राइट सो समझो समझो लेट से योर एंड योर ऑल द एंड पॉइंट ऑफ द इंटरवल्स लुक लाइक दिस वन थ्री एट टेन फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड ओके एंड योर वाई इज कमिंग एज सिक्स वाई इज कमिंग एज सिक्स सो डूइंग बाइनरी सर्च इन वन सेकेंड यू कैन फाइंड आउट हाउ मेनी नंबर इन दिस एरिया आर लेस देन सिक्स ओके You need to have basic binary search knowledge for this. If you were a student enrolled in my course in the Pro DSA batch, you would already be knowing that. Knowing that. In case you don't know binary search, don't worry. I will give you some resources. You can linearly also travel and find in O of n how many numbers are less than six in the given array. But because the array is sorted, you can use binary search. First, you can try the middle guy. Then you can keep on changing the ranges depending on the answer. So, the left part can be calculated using binary search in o of log n time o of log n time o of log n time similarly for the right guys for the right number of intervals whose start point whose start point is greater than z you can do this using binary search in o of log n time in o of log n time okay so guys number of intervals whose start point is greater than z No, no. The sir, the intervals are not sorted by default. We will sort them. Don't worry. Yeah, we can use the direct uh, guys. We can use this direct inbuilt function also, upper bound. But me, why am I talking? Because guys, there can be some people who are beginner in coding. If I am talking directly to them, upper bound, they will not understand. Guys, do you hope? You 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 guys, do you hope? क्यों मैं पूरा बता रहा हूँ क्योंकि देर कैन बी पीपल डोंट अंडरस्टैंड गाइस व्हाट इज अवर पाउंड तो उनको तो यही बोलना पड़ेगा ना कि भाई आप बाइनरी सर्च करो और निकालो सब ठीक है सो गाइस नाउ सी द क्वेश्चन इज वेरी सिंपल यू रन अ फॉर लूप कैलकुलेट लेफ्ट कैलकुलेट राइट आंसर इज आंसर प्लस लेफ्ट इन राइट यू टेक ओ ऑफ लॉग इन टू कैलकुलेट लेफ्ट यू टेक ओ ऑफ लॉग इन टाइम टू कैलकुलेट राइट दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम इट क्रिएट्स योर इट क्लियर अप योर ग्रीडी ग्रीडी एलगोरिदम्स ओके सो नाउ uh how will you calculate this guys number of intervals whose start point is greater than z easy easy just make a just make an array of start pointer okay make an array of the start pointer okay so it will store all the starting points of all the interval s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 s6 s7 s8 okay this will be in sorted format now the some person is coming and telling you tell me how many guys in this array are greater than z so you can easily do binary search and tum ek jhatke mein bata loge kitne log hai jo z se bade hai wo jo bhi count hai wo tumhari right ki count hai simple the job is done guys job is done now this much concept is clear to everyone guys should we go to the pseudo code and c++ java python codes if all are ready uh, five people ready yes so i can go ahead now guys five people ready yes guys now let's go to the pseudo code let's uh, clear up the understand thank you now guys if you go below uh, there is a n loop and for in each loop i am taking log n log n time so total time complexity will be o of n log n okay total time complexity will be o of n log n i am not directly using the upper bound function because i fear that some people might not understand if you were a student enrolled in my training program then mai tumko bolna nahi padta mai bol deta ki bhai pad ke aana course se anyways now pseudo code i have tried to create the best course for oe 800 hour recorded material now guys people generally don't teach innocent students for oe i don't know why they only keep on teaching the easy easy questions popular questions usse bachcho ka improvement nahi hota so guys uh, let's go to our important stuff guys see this is the pseudo code n is what uh, the number of intervals start n will store all the starting pointers of the interval end of n array will store all the ending pointers of all the intervals okay and this pair will store the start pointer also end pointer also so i run a loop from 0 till n minus 1 i read the starting pointer see it was clearly given in the question what it was given 
that in the input first they will give you the starting pointer all the left points of all the intervals then they will give you the right points of all the intervals okay yeah so what is happening from line number 35 to line number 37 i am reading the start pointer okay start of i is equal to y i am putting the st storing all the start guys in the start array also g of i dot first equal to y ka kya matlab hai ki ye pair ka first element mein main start dal raha hu okay similarly guys i am in the second loop uh, while loop i am storing all the end pointers in the end array in the end array and g of i dot second equal to y ka kya matlab hai i am uh, storing that uh, end pointer in the second place in the pair okay see i have created a start array which will be storing all the start pointers of all the intervals i have created the end array which will be storing all the end pointers of all the intervals for example if you guys really want to understand so what is happening is we are given n n n intervals right s1 e1 s2 e2 s3 e3 मैं क्या कर रहा हूँ कि मैं स्टार्ट का एक अलग ही एरे बना दिया हूँ उसमें स्टोर क्या कर रहा हूँ उसमें स्टोर कर रहा हूँ एस वन एस टू एस थ्री सॉर्टेड फॉर्मेट में सॉर्टेड ओके okay? और फिर मैंने दूसरे एक एंड का एरे बना लिया है जिसके अंदर मैं ई वन ई टू ई थ्री ऐसे स्टोर कर दिया हूँ ठीक है और मैंने आई ऑल्सो क्रिएटेड अ पैर ऑफ एरे विच इज स्टोरिंग बोथ द थिंग्स ऑल्सो एस वन ई वन एस टू ई टू एस थ्री ई थ्री नो वन विल एक्सप्लेन यू इन दिस डिटेल लाइक आई एम डूइंग ओके या वी टेक डेली लाइफ सेशन इन माई ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम एवरी डे सैटरडे संडे ऑल्सो so the start array is clear this end array is clear and this g is also clear this g is this one ah huh? see the start array clear end array clear and this is g storing the array of pairs okay now guys let's focus everyone so this is done this is done now i sort sorting in ascending order is very important all the elements are now in the ascending order similarly i sort all the things are now sorted in the end array also now guys see i am using the same algorithm what was my algorithm algorithm was a for loop calculate left and right answer equal to answer plus left into right so for the each interval i for the interval i x is the start pointer y is the end pointer okay so now i use the binary search function v1 tells me how many left valid guys are there v2 tells me how many right valid guys are there answer will be count equal to count plus v1 into v2 and the final answer will be count so guys how am i finding this using binary search see i have used the upper bound function what is happening how is it finding the things this is the binary search algorithm now i will explain it for one time then you guys will understand what am i doing in the binary search algorithm guys in the binary search i need to find out right i need to find out See, this is the array given to me. One, five, eight, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, fifty, hundred, and five hundred. Okay, this is given to us. Now, left का मतलब क्या था? Left का मतलब ये था कि ये बताओ. Or let's say. Uh, we have to calculate right. Chalo, left to बहुत easy हो जाए right, okay? Right is saying tell me the number of guys which are greater than y, okay? So let's say guys y is five in our case, okay? Y is five in our case, okay? Y is five. Y is simply five. So in this sorted array, you want to know how many people are greater than five. So let's say these are the indices: zero, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what you can do in the binary search function, you can declare low as zero. You can declare high as nine, which is the last number, and low as this. First, you will check the mid, guys. Which is the mid? Mid is low plus high by two, nine plus zero by two, which is four. So first, you check this guy. You check this guy. This guy is what? Fifteen. You check this guy. This guy is fifteen. But you want a guy which is greater than five, okay? Now why is five? You want a guy which is greater than five, but you want it to be as close as possible to five, okay? So whenever you get a guy who is greater than, see in the algorithm I have written, whenever you see left is zero, right is size of array minus one. While left less than equal to right, first you calculate the mid. Mid is what? Left plus right by two, okay? So once you know the mid, first check. 
is the guy i am trying to calculate less than equal to target no our target is 5 and arr of mid is 15 so it is greater than the target we come in the else condition is that guy having index 0 no is that is the guy just behind him less than equal to target no it means right equal to mid minus 1 okay so basically iska kya matlab hai hum log kya try kar rahe hai ye array mein dhoondne ka हम लोग वो सबसे पहला बंदा ढूंढने का ट्राई कर रहे हैं जो फाइव से बड़ा है मतलब हमारा आंसर एट होना चाहिए बट अब बाइनरी सर्च में सबसे पहले हमारा पॉइंटर पंद्रह पे जा रहा है अब पंद्रह हमको देख के पता चल जा रहा है पंद्रह देख के पता चल जा रहा है कि ये पांच से बहुत बड़ा है तो हम क्या करेंगे पहले हम पूरा जीरो से नाइन तक बाइनरी सर्च चला रहे थे राइट हमको पता है कि अभी पंद्रह से बड़ा तो आंसर होने से रहा तो हम इसको कट कर देंगे नाउ वी विल ओनली सर्च फ्रॉम जीरो टू थ्री तो ये कब होगा जब अपना हमारा हाई पॉइंटर पहले क्या था नाइन था अभी हमारा हाई पॉइंटर थ्री होना चाहिए सो नाउ आई विल अपडेट माय हाई एज नाउ आई विल अपडेट माय हाई एज मिड माइनस वन मिड माइनस वन वेर मिड इज नथिंग बट फोर मिड इज नथिंग बट फोर सो हाई बिकम्स थ्री नाउ माई बाइनरी सर्च विल ओनली रन ऑन वन फाइव एट टेन सो लाइक दिस आई विल कीप ऑन डूइंग द बाइनरी सर्च एलगोरिदम गाइज ओके now this thing i don't need to explain unless you are a full beginner but still still i am putting all my energy in okay ah bhai nahi sir bhi batana padega koi baat nahi so say you are given like this 1 2 3 then 5 then 10 20 30 50 80 100 200 100, stuff like that एंड दे आर टेलिंग यू कि मुझे बताओ भाई कितने लोग हैं जो तीन से बड़े आ रहे हैं तो सबसे पहले तुम्हारा मिडल पॉइंटर कहाँ पर जाएगा ये तुम्हारा लो है ये तुम्हारा हाई है योर मिडल पॉइंटर विल गो हियर ओके मिडल पॉइंटर देखेगा येस वी गॉट अ गाई विच इज ग्रेटर देन थ्री बट वॉट इज द गारंटी दैट इट इज द क्लोजेस्ट गाय ग्रेटर देन थ्री सो दिस इज ऑल्सो नॉट वैलिड सो यू विल कट दिस रेंज यू विल कट दिस रेंज एंड योर हाई पॉइंटर विल बिकम दिस नाउ Now you will try to find the middle guy again. This time middle guy is five. Middle guy is five. So now you do one extra check. What check you do? If the array of mid minus one, if the guy just behind you is less than equal to three, and you are just greater than three, it means you found the right guy. See guys, this guy is just less than equal to three. and this guy is just greater than 3 means this is the guy which is the smallest number greater than 3 so you find this answer and you return this answer that's why i had written it in the chat i had written it in the chat here also okay that first if uh, mid is 0 then return 0 if the previous guy is less than equal to target it means tum log ne wo pehla banda dhoond liya jo x jo target se bada hai तो आंसर रिटर्न कर दो अगर नहीं ढूंढा हो तो राइट को मिड माइनस वन कर लो इन केस अगर तुम कोई वो नंबर पे अटक जाते हो जो ऑलरेडी टारगेट से छोटा है तो लेफ्ट इक्वल टू मिड प्लस वन कर दो ऐसे करके यू विल इजीली फाइंड आउट तुमको इंडेक्स मिल जाएगा ठीक है ना इन दिस केस यू विल इजिली इजिली फाइंड आउट ओके आई होप मोस्ट ऑफ यू पीपल नाउ अंडरस्टूड यू विल इजिली फाइंड आउट दैट दिस गाय इज ग्रेटर देन थ्री इफ यू नो द इंडेक्स ऑफ दिस गाय Suppose this is the this is the in, these are the indices of the array, and by using that binary search, तुमको पता चलता है this is the guy which is just greater than three. Okay, remember in the last case, this is the guy which is just greater than three. So you come to know that the answer is index two. But now how will you calculate how many guys are there, uh, which are greater than three? All these guys are greater than three, right? So answer will be what? आंसर विल बी एक दो तीन चार पांच छ आंसर विल बी साइज ऑफ एरे एट माइनस टू ओके एट माइनस टू क्योंकि फ्रॉम इंडेक्स नंबर टू ऑल द गाइज आर ग्रेटर देन थ्री राइट सो ऑल दीज आर ग्रेटर देन थ्री सो वॉट वॉज द टोटल साइज ऑफ द एरे एट एट माइनस द फर्स्ट इंडेक्स विल गिव यू द आंसर एंड दैट्स वॉट आवर बाइनरी सच फंक्शन इज डूइंग In our binary search function for calculating the right, you can see answer is n minus the first index where you get the guy which is just greater than y, 
and like this you calculate v2 and like this you also can calculate v1 left that i leave to the reader they will understand so guys is the understanding of the question clear to most people they can finally start writing yes in the chat it is very interesting problem it uses greedy strategy and it also uses the binary search technique thank you people thank you so much yeah thank you so much now let me stop the recording